Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the easy what? What? The what? Uh, this thing from Inikin. Uh, now, this is, uh, is it, remember the easy TC? Uh, it was out a few months ago from Inikin and that was just for temperature controlled vaping. Uh, well, this one is just plain old, you know, it's just adjustable wattage. Uh, it's got a T20S 2mm tank on the top and it's quite a simple bit of gear. Uh, 1500 milliamp hour battery in here and I'll show you all this in the close-ups. It does come with two coils, a 0 0.8 and a 1.5 ohm and yeah, we'll cover it all as we go along close-ups. So here we have a uh, usual Inikin packaging, the Easy Watt, and it, this does come in lots of different finishes. I'll pop up a picture just now and give you an idea of what they are all like. Inside we have the, the usual Inikin approach here. We have an accessories tray and we have the mod tank and everything in here. Inside the accessories pack we have a USB cable, USB charger. We have this little card here that just basically tells you how to do everything and it covers the the really complicated menu system which is not very complicated at all and you'll find the usual stickers and a proper manual living inside here. On the other side you'll find this fine collection of parts here that I'm already vaping away with. Now here's two coils here, we have a 1.5 and a 0 0.8 ohm. Uh, we have another top cap as well. Another card which has given you recommended uh, wattage ranges for each of the coils here. And then we have the mod. Now this is, this is, look at that, that's just, I've got big old hands, but it is, it's absolutely tiny this thing. Uh, it's got a decent 510 in the top. Uh, you can get other devices on here if you so desire. And it is pr a proper spring loaded 510, which is great. Now on the base. Uh, this is what you want to pay attention to. Basically you have six available settings. So you can go from 13 watts up to 35 watts. So I've popped my tank on and once again this is the T20S and if I push the fire button we know you have the usual Inikin light system going on here telling you the state of the charge. Uh, but you'll see that I have lights down here. So if I push this button just now, push it again, can you see that every time I push it there it's getting brighter and dim, bright and dim. So if you go back to the bottom and we check this, the, the dim setting is going to be 13 watts and the other setting when it's bright is 14 watts. If I hold down the fire button and this button here again, we go up to the blue. So that's the second setting, spin this round here, my apologies. So we've got 16 and 18 watts and the last one is 30 and 35 watts. The tank, uh, it does not have adjustable airflow. We have these holes on the bottom here to change the coil. You're, you know, you're used to this with Inikin tanks. It's very, very easy. You, know, you just pull that coil out. The whole thing comes out and it leaves you with this and then just slide it back in and that's it. And you do fill from the top. My only advice here is be careful. Remember, don't fill it too much. Uh, you know, just fill it just down the sides. Keep an eye on where the threads are there. Uh, you know, if you put too much juice in this and you screw this down, you're going to force juice into the wicking holes in the coil and it will leak out the bottom. Uh, so we have this one, which is, and you can see we've got a standard 510 drip tip here. That just pops on there. And then we have this other one that just, it's got a fixed mouthpiece on it there. The bore isn't really any different and I didn't find that it gave a the vape was exactly the same between the two drip tips. Uh, just personal preference at the end of the day. Now I have to be completely upfront here. I love the vape from these coils. I really think the flavour comes through loud and proud in these. And I actually love saying that because usually I tend to have a bit of a downer on uh, the old Inikin coil sometimes. Um, but uh, these straight out the box I found to give great flavour. Now. The strange thing is you've got a 0 0.8 and a 1.5 ohm coil. They give the same vape. There's no difference in, I was kind of hoping that the 1.5 would maybe have smaller holes uh, or a smaller air hole inside the coil. I mean, when you look inside, right right down there, you will see that there's a more narrow diameter um, inside the 1.5 ohm coil, but it doesn't give to me it's the same vape. 
It's it's not a more restricted draw. And I was hoping for a more restricted draw for the 1.5. This is, you can mouth along it, uh, but it is right on the cusp of a very loose mouth to lung to a very restricted lung hit. Um, it's not a true one or the other. It's, it's right on the cusp for me. Uh, the 1.5 just now. So that's me just uh, mouth to lung there. That's performing no problem. Uh, if I can try and do a lung hit on it. And I can. Uh, so it's, whilst the advertising does say that it's a mouth to lung tank, it's it's maybe not what the um, old school vapors would consider a, like a, a one mil, one to 1.5 mil draw. It's not. If you do buy one of these and it's your first time at having a go at these, uh, you will see how you change the wattage level, the power levels. My advice to you is put your coil in your tank, fill it full of juice, leave it, go and have a cup of tea, wait for that liquid to soak into the coil. Put the power down to its lowest setting, its lowest setting, and start vaping on it. And then turn it up one bit at a time. Don't go pumping it up to the recommended wattage, just increase that wattage slowly until you find out what you like. Uh, because, you know, one wattage may be better for you and the, you know, the liquid that you vape with, and you know, it might be better for somebody else doing it higher. There is no true wattage that you should use for a coil. That's just, I don't agree with that. Adjust to taste is the way to go. Now I will say that I'm using quite a heavy VG in this. I'm using an 80% VG and it wicks no problem at all. And as I said, this thing is just tiny. I mean, look at that. I mean, this is about 30 pounds in the UK. And in the past, I have not been a huge fan of these. I mean, they've been okay, they've not been great, but the coil in this, I think is tremendous. I'm really enjoying the coil in this. And this has not really left my hand since it arrived. It's been in the house or been in the car the whole time. I'm getting good flavor from it and I'm enjoying the vape. I will say that whilst it's perfect for me, the draw, um, because it's right on the cusp, for people looking for a true mouth to lung vape, this isn't it. For those wanting a full on lung hit, this isn't it. It's a bang in the middle. And that's all I've got for you in this one. Um, big fan of this. I really like this. I really like this. Uh, and especially because they've sorted out their 510s again. Uh, I think that's great. Uh, just for a little show and tell. Uh, I mean, that's a 22 millimeter EVL Reaper, Evil Reaper on there. And you know, it's there's no major overhangs or anything like that. Uh, so it will fit on. And I'm, uh, I think I'm in the middle setting here. I'm just at 18 watts in here just now and... That's fine. You know, it comes with this tank and this tank works well, but I just wanted to show you that it will work with other tanks or other RDAs. Uh, it will fire down to 0 0.2 ohm, but just remember that it's only, once again, 35 watts that it'll do, so 1500 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, stick with a wee 2 mil tank on it and that'll do you all day quite the thing if you're vaping at a low enough wattage. Obviously, for those of you that don't know, the higher the wattage, the more power you're going to go through and the shorter lifespan of the device during the day. Only thing left to show, sh for the, share, share with you is that, yes, USB charging, you can vape and charge at the same time with this, or I have been able to. Uh, but that's it from me and the Easy Watt from Inikin. I really like this. I like this a lot. But thank you to Inikin for sending this on. I did get this free to review. And to you guys, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.